global climate change is real and to deny it is um, toxic to our community and our nation. We're, we're on the forefront of just these incredible new discoveries and if we're told that we have to stop or modify our research just because it doesn't match the ideology of the current administration then I mean that really has very serious implications for scientific research as a whole. You see the Trump administration coming in and cutting regulations. You're seeing that the federal government is taking a step back from addressing climate change. I think the most immediate concern is funding because a lot of people rely on that funding to even just you know live their daily lives here. We rely on things like the NSF grants to be able to even think of doing research. It's hard for me to think like, I don't know, in the next 20 years, will that have an impact on my ability to have a career? And I hope not. It's gonna have impact on a lot of people in my major um, and a lot of people in similar majors like wildlife, fish, and conservation biology. I know a lot of them right now are pretty scared. It's had a huge impact on my job prospects. I've applied to over 30 jobs in the national park system, but uh, with the federal um, hiring freeze, all of those jobs are up in the air right now. When you see very early signs like the gag order on the EPA, that's very troubling for people like myself. The scientific community everywhere is being affected by this. A lot of scientists have come together so that people are still seeing all the stuff that's being censored and like even if our government is going to be censoring our findings that that information is still getting out and reaching the people. We had a big march against Trump's climate denial. Only like three days after his presidency we marched to Merak. I think it's really crucial that institutions like the UC system, other public universities take a step up and make a stand for continuing to do environmental research and pushing for those standards to be held. Climate change is a global problem and you know regardless of what the United States done the rest of the world is moving forward so we can either get on board or we can just fall behind 